These theories will make you question everything. And remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's check them out. By pressing this button, which I now do, the cameras are transmitting a live color picture. When you step before them, you will be making your first appearance on color television from Washington. <laughs> what if, what if that's what it was really like? So reads a top secret TV clip proves government scientists hypnotized the world into seeing color. Prior to 1954, the human brain could only see in black and white. What if that's the case, bro? And we're not really seeing color. That would be that would lend itself to me in the lines of more of the simulation theory, right? Like they in, inserted a program. One day it was created a program update or like a phone, your update, and it was given to us for us to have the ability to see color. Watch what happens when a line is drawn in front of this chicken. This is a strange and mysterious phenomenon observed in chickens. When a line is drawn on the ground starting from the beak and extending straight in front of the chicken, the chicken enters a state of magnetic hypnosis and becomes unable to move. If the chicken is hypnotized in this way, it will continue to stare at the line and remain still for a duration of up to 30 minutes. There is no precise explanation for this phenomenon. This hypnosis is not harmful to the chicken, and usually, the chicken snaps out of the magnetic hypnosis when the line is erased in front of it. Watch what happens when a line is drawn in I think I've seen this before as far as when they, they've done this experiment before, which is pretty crazy to me. You know what I mean? Is it the line, though, or is it just you holding them down eventually causes it to go into like a paralysis state like that? You know what I mean? Super, super <laughs> crazy to me. You know what I mean? I, I don't even know what that means. Why does it do that? I need some answers on this one. A third of the population basically being hypnotized and totally wrapped up in whatever Tony Fauci and the mainstream media feeds them, whatever CNN tells them is true. And, um, and I saw this headline in the New York Times, um, epidemiologist, and the, and the title was, How You Should Think About Children and Omicron. It was, it was blatantly saying, this is how you should think. Mm. We're going to tell you how to think. Okay? People kind of got to get that in their head. That's the world we're in right now, now which is that this comes from basically European intellectual inquiry into what the heck happened in Germany in the 20s and 30s. You know, very intelligent, highly educated population, and they went barking mad. Um, and how did that happen? Um, the answer is mass formation psychosis. When you have a society that has become decoupled from each other and has free-floating anxiety and a sense that things don't make sense, we can't understand it, and then their attention gets focused by a leader or a series of events on one small point, just like hypnosis, they literally become hypnotized and can be led anywhere. Kind of has a point there. I often think about my life back when I didn't pay attention to the news when I was younger. You know what I mean? To me, those felt like simpler times. And people often say the news is used to either brainwash or control or, you know what I mean? Divide, pit us against. All of that is a form of hypnosis, correct? Think about it back to the times where you didn't really pay attention to the news and what was going on around you. Not saying that that was right. I'm just telling you to think back to that time. When you did get a focal point from the news, it kind of did give you tunnel vision. It kind of did make you and inflict emotion in you, whether it be pain, whether it be uh, uh, sympathy, whether it be whatever it be. You get enraged about a topic. Got a point with that when you think about it. Okay. So in order for mass formation hypnosis to occur, that 25 to 35, or 25 to 30 percent of the population has to gain some sort of heightened level of radicalism where they scream the loudest and then they get a hold of the levers of power. Right? Now, when it comes down to stopping 
this process from happening. All you need is 5% or more of the population to not become hypnotized and say, no, this is ludicrous, you are nuts, we are not doing that. Now we've seen the effects of mass formation hypnosis, critical factor bypass, and neuro-linguistic programming in Nazi Germany. We saw it with the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia and the USSR. We saw it in the Red Revolution in China and the Chinese Communist Party, okay? So we've seen the effects of this process, and it is psychological warfare, okay? Now, when it comes to Q, and the Q operation, and the reason I say it's a psychological operation is this. This is how it differs. The Operation Mockingbird Media, what I call the Mockingbird Media, Operation Mockingbird, CIA, infiltrating the media outlets, yep. right? So the Mockingbird Media uses the techniques I just laid out to program the populations so that they can use this propaganda to go to war. And then they can transfer public money into private hands. You see, so it's a, it's, it's a whole scheme. Okay. So there you have it again, scheme agenda based, you know what I mean? To think that certain news outlets aren't controlled. I don't think none of us are going to combat you about that. <laughs> I know it growing up. I had certain people tell me, Excuse me. I had certain people tell me, don't watch Fox News. I had certain people tell me, don't watch CNN. I had certain people tell me, you know what I mean? When it came to news outlets, what whatever household you grew up in, the news outlet that's played, that's what you grew up on. And whatever they pushed, whatever ideas, ideologies, whatever agenda, that that new you grew up kind of gravitating towards that and it kind of played a part in what what candidates you 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 endorsed or backed it played a part in all of that now eventually some people grew up and decided when they got older that they didn't like that didn't like the way it made them feel didn't like the way you know what I mean? The the thoughts and beliefs. But most people don't. Most people tend to stick with and gravitate towards what they grew up with. In this installment of the Hypno series, we're moving to the dark side. At the beginning of the Cold War era, the CIA became interested in human consciousness and how it works, how it can be manipulated, and how it can be controlled. Inter Project Artichoke. Before it was Artichoke, it was called Bluebird. Not Blue Beam, not Blue Book, Bluebird. I know. It was only called Bluebird for about a year, and then it changed to Artichoke, and it was only Artichoke for a few years before it turned into MK Ultra. Bluebird and Artichoke began as programs to develop better interrogation techniques, but it quickly turned into something more sinister. They wanted to know if they could control somebody into doing something against their own will. This is where the Manchurian Candidate comes from. If you've not read the book, or seen the original movie, or seen the remake, the Manchurian Candidate is a person who was brainwashed into becoming an assassin. And that was the goal of Project Artichoke. And how they wanted to do this was find a subject, force them into a drug addiction, and use brainwashing and hypnosis techniques in order to become this Manchurian Candidate. It's been speculated that the overall goal was to create this candidate to assassinate Fidel Castro. We obviously do not have all of the declassified documents on this project, but because we understand the skeleton format of how it operated, we can use our understanding of hypnotic techniques to glean more information in how this process could have worked specifically. So we know they needed to brainwash their subjects. And in order to do this, you have to strip away their identity and give them a new one. And with that new identity, a new purpose. It's most likely that they were able to expedite this brainwashing process through the use of drugs. They took their subjects and made them drug addicts. Obviously, when you're on a high dose of drugs, you are highly suggestible. And while going through this period of drug-induced brainwashing, it's likely that a few different hypnotic techniques were utilized. It's likely that one of the primary techniques used is called fractionation. Fractionation is a process in which you repeatedly induce hypnosis. And each time you do it, you go a little deeper. You put them in, you take them out. You put them in again, deeper, you take them out. You put them in again, deeper, you take them out. Rinse, repeat. And you do this until they get to the point where they can't come out unless they have a cue. And likewise, they go into one with a cue. Keep in mind that fractionation, similar to other techniques, are not inherently bad. They are neutral. It's your application of that technique that determines whether or not it's good or bad. Now, generally, when someone is in a hypnotic trance, they'll wake up on their own. 
but if you use fractionation enough, you can get someone to a point where they will not come out on their own. This is likely how they got their subject deep enough to instill messages. It's also likely that this is how they were able to keep their subject in that deep state while they were going through with their mission. Remember the goal being assassination. Something that had to go hand in hand with this was something called an anchor and a cue. Anchors are very Pavlovian. Anchors are what connect your conscious mind to your subconscious mind. This in the conscious world means this in the unconscious world. All right, flip your cassette. Part two is on my profile. In this installment of the Hypno series, we're moving. <laughs> flip your cassette. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen. If this information or this type of stuff isn't mind blowing to you, I, I don't know what to tell you, bro. And if you're sitting there thinking that this type of stuff doesn't happen, I don't know what to tell you either. You're still plugged into the to the matrix and you need to unplug. The Manchurian Candidate. Never seen it. But now y'all have it on my radar. Excuse me. Y'all have it on my radar. I want to check that out and see. But listen, listen to how they do you, how they set you up, how they get you into the state to where they can control you. You know what I mean? Like, I often keep thinking back to the movie Get Out and how they brainwash you and, and put you in this trance however they do it. Like she said, rinse and repeat of putting you in, taking you out, putting you in deeper, taking you out, putting you in deeper, taking you out. However that is. Stripping everything you've ever known and, and having you believe in only this. It's dangerous, bro. I know they still doing stuff like this to this day. To this day. So I am currently doing a hypnotism training and I have come to the conclusion that we are all hypnotized. Our entire life, we have been hypnotized, and I am realizing this after being hypnotized and seeing what goes into it. What do we talk about the biggest conditioner is in our society? Media, right? Let me tell you how hypnotism works. Essentially, the process of hypnosis is getting you to focus on something so that you are fully engrossed with it, you're fully engaged with it. And then when you're in that state, where your conscious mind is so fully engaged in one thing, they slip in suggestions that literally alter the way that you see the world. They can tell you that, you know, they're invisible and you won't be able to see them. They can tell you that they're your favorite celebrity and you will literally see that in front of your eyes. Your mind will project that forward. Now let's think about media. Let's think about movies. Are you not, like, when you're watching a movie, when you're watching a show, you are so engrossed in it. Your yep. conscious mind completely dissipates the reality between you and that movie. You feel for the characters. Yep. You are literally like in that movie. And if you look at the media and what we've been told is reality, this is what has been going into our subconscious mind for years and years and years and years. You know, society working. And like, yes, these are normal things, but you have to think about the fact that we're so set and we're so down to just work our whole lives for like a cup some time at the end of our life that we actually enjoy like we really believe this and people really believe that and that's fine i believe they believe that because we've been freaking hypnotized to believe that we've been hypnotized to think that that's what life is that that is what reality is when i actually experienced hypnosis for the first time essentially all he did was get me to focus on something focus on something specific. As you're trusting in the person that is telling you these things, your subconscious completely opens up to suggestion. It's really like not magic at all. And that is the scariest part of it. And now it all makes sense why we're so conditioned to live this way and why we're so willing to give up so much of our life, so much of our time our energy for the benefit of other people so i am currently doing a hypnotism training and like i'll take it a step further think about this right you ever listen to the radio back when radio was really really controlling everything you get in your car and you listen to the radio and there may be a song you hate you can't stand it but they play it over and over and over and over again till you find yourself saying you know what the song isn't that bad actually i like the song knowing you don't like the song 
but they programmed you to like it because they play it over and over. That's just like social media. Another thing she, she said, like social media, if you go through social media and see nothing but violence, 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 all down your timeline, then all somebody has to do is say, hey, help me stop the violence, donate to this cause right here to where we can stop violence and this, this and that. You're more inclined to what? Donate, right? It's the way they can get you because they programmed you to either feel a certain way towards the violence. You're either going to like it or you're not going to like it. So they can cater to you for liking it and they can figure out a way to cater to the, those who like it. Oh, show up for this show that shows all these type of um, what's what's the shows that come on like Real Housewives and stuff like that and different things like that and they're arguing they're fighting on the shows and stuff they can tell you that if you like this type of stuff then come watch or come subscribe to this network where we'll, we show you these shows that do all of that type of stuff yep. does anyone find it quite a bit concerning as to if you're on a ball why don't you just go from here to here. Why you go up and then down? Flight paths on a flat earth. Hmm. That makes a lot more sense. Looks like a straight line. You know if there was a need of an emergency landing from Taiwan to LA, they go up to Alaska. Why? On a ball, Hawaii is just right here. <laughs> oh, that makes more sense. Look. Alaska, just in a straight line. Flight from Argentina to India and you're stopping in Amsterdam, way up there. Why don't they just go straight across? Why don't they just go straight across? Oh wait, they do. Argentina, Amsterdam, India. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Another emergency landing from Dallas to Beijing. On a ball, they go up to Calgary. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Does anyone find it quite a bit con Bro, <laughs> they're going to find some type of way <laughs> to fit in some conversation. Either Even when we're mostly talking about hypnosis, about flat earth theory, bro. They're going to figure some type of way to fit that in. Y'all don't care, man. I like it, though. Let's keep going with it. The conversation and debate continues. Right, just a quickie today. So uh, I'm just sat here busy preparing a hypnotherapy session <clears throat> and it got me thinking. Um, those of you in the UK will know exactly what I'm talking about. Do you remember back in the start of COVID 2020-2021, um, we all just ripped the shit out of Boris Johnson because they called him a bumbling, driveling idiot because he is. <laughs> But when he was doing things like um, the drivel he used to spew, like you stay two meters apart and you can go next to each other, but you can't go next to each other. And then if you sit down, you can get it, but if you stand up, you can't get it. And then we can go out and we can touch each other in groups of six. But if we're not in groups of six, we can, you know, the whole confusing thing, you can go out, but you can't go out kind of thing. That was actually a hypnosis technique that we use called confusion technique, right? So oh. what he was doing there was actually very, very clever. He was using confusion technique in order to make the mass hypnosis stick. Okay, go and check it out. I'm not doing a video about that today. Uh, go and check out confusion technique in hypnotherapy. You'll, you'll understand it. So yes, very, very clever. Even though he sounds like a dribbling, bumbling idiot, <clears throat> he's actually very cleverly using a hypnosis technique, right? So, wow. got me thinking, I wonder if this is what Biden's not trying to do with his f***ing drivel, but his hypnotherapist consort has obviously got his diploma from Walmart or something, you know, because <laughs> it's actually just comes out as drivel and he's not really doing it properly. But yeah, um, I thought this is just something to be aware of in the, in the coming weeks and months, obviously, with the whole COVID thing rearing its ugly head again. I've not listened to much of the drivel of the other MPs and Prime Ministers and Presidents and whatever from the other countries, but take note of, of what they're saying to you, what your governments are saying to you during the next coming months and weeks. If they are 
saying things that don't make sense or seem to contradict each other, seem to contradict what they're saying, they are probably using this technique. So yes, just a little bit of an evasion technique for you guys to use. Um, <clears throat> like I've said before, it's the same as subliminal messaging, uh, which is pretty much hypnosis. Um, if you're aware of it, you can't be affected by it. So yes, evasion technique there for you guys. I know every single one of y'all thought back to the time where we was just stuck at the house. We sitting at home, we watching the TV and we're saying to either our significant other or whomever we're talking to in the home as we watching the news, they don't have a clue. I know I kept saying that. I said that so many times. They don't have a clue. Look at them contradicting each other. This one's saying that, this one's saying that. I don't know who to, everyone seems confused. Huh. Huh. It's a tactic. Good to know. I'm good to know. Good to have that in my back pocket now. Wow. A hypnosis technique. Confusion. <laughs> you gotta laugh to keep from crying, man. Like what type of simulation world are we in? Or people would do something like that or could potentially do something like that. And I'd be wondering sometimes, like, does anybody out there care about us? I wonder that sometimes, man. Like, does anybody in charge, higher up in these positions, even just care about us? One bit, like one tiny little bit does anybody according to darpa whistleblower dr paul bacho and a document that leaked from washington state fusion center cell towers are being used for mass mind control cell towers are weaponized with bioelectric resonance frequencies that can hijack the brain's thought center And I, I can't really combat, combat that that whole 5G talk and all that kind of stuff like that too, man. Like what what did it do for us? Somebody please explain that to me. What did it do? Is your cell phone better? I know mine is still the same, if not worse. So what is it being used for? Got to be something else. Conspiracy theorists, listen up. I've said it once and I'll say it again. This is very important. If you're a conspiracy theorist, you need to understand this. Take a deep breath with me. I'm about to expand your mind, open your mind. Listen up. Stop letting it control your life. Stop blurting all these things out to your friends and family. This is isolating you. Can you not see it? It's isolating you. Even if all these things are true, listen up, which a lot of them end up being true anyways. Relax. You're not going to be able to change the entire system. And even no. if you were, you have to go down the path of personal growth. You have to work on yourself. Allow all these theories, conspiracy theories, are distracting you from fulfilling your divine purpose. That's all external noise. And it's a distraction from your divine purpose. Fulfill your divine purpose. Stop letting all that noise get into your head. You're isolating yourself anyways. Follow me for more on my Instagram. Love you so much. Hit the link in my bio for... He makes a great point. I don't let it consume me to where I wake up, I go to sleep. That's all I think about. No, I have family, bro. And they depend on me. They rely on me. You know what I mean? I would never allow this to consume me because then they've won. No. But at the same time, it, it has allowed me to, to see things clearly. It has allowed me to question and not just take what they're giving me. I, I did that for so many years. I was on that hamster wheel for so many years. No. Nowadays, you can't just tell me something and think I'm just going to take it and run with it. No. Hello. I'm a qualified hypnotherapist. And I just wanted to add to what this creator had to say. Because I think she came up with a few valid points. Now, the art of hypnosis is something that has been utilized since the ancient times. 
as Charles Tebbets would say, you would probably more likely to know it as guided meditation. However, guided meditation has really been shrouded in this spiritual complexity that a lot of people can't really unmask. While hypnosis has been covered in layers of tomfoolery to further distance you from the concept of how powerful hypnosis can be. Now, if you didn't know, psychology was among the first sciences, although a lot of people may refer to it as pseudoscience. And Sigmund Freud was one of the first psychologists to really bring hypnosis more mainstream, and he was laughed at by the psychological community. While behind the scenes of the unsuspecting public, they were artfully honing their craft to utilize it for mass mind control. Interesting to note that the great nephew of Sigmund Freud is one of the co-founders of Netflix. Your intricately created and tailored algorithm for your personal hypnosis. You can choose what suggestions you would like to download each time you lock into Netflix. And that's just the tip of the iceberg because you go into hypnosis several times a day. Have you ever wow. noticed when you're driving your car and you all of a sudden just your mind goes somewhere and then you yes. realize, oh, where did I go for a minute? You were under hypnosis. Have you ever noticed when you're in the middle of doing something and your mind almost just wanders and you're still carrying on doing whatever you're doing? Yes. That was hypnosis. But the power of hypnosis is not just the state of mind. It's the suggestions that are given when you're in that state of mind. If everyone is constantly mm. in that state of mind, then every single thing that you're coming into contact with is going to be almost like a suggestion to your subconscious, which can either affect you positively or negatively, depending on the suggestions. That is why it's so important to be mindful of what you input into your mind. They already know how powerful hypnosis is. The question is, do you? I never knew that was a form of hypnosis. I was talking about that the other day with y'all, about driving down the road, and sometimes you just blink, and then you're like, dang, I don't even remember the last five minutes or whatever it was, however long I was driving. And you try to think back. Scares you a little bit, because you're like, dang, I could have gotten a wreck or something like that, but I've had that. Or drifted off and be talking to somebody. I didn't know that was a form of hypnosis, bro. And then another thing she said, that algorithm, whether you're watching Netflix or on social media, that's a form of hypnosis because it does that to get you in and then it can inject suggestions. This is this is crazy, y'all. This if this type of stuff doesn't rile you, get you going. I don't know what to tell you, man. Listen, y'all get at me in the comment section and let me know what y'all thought about this. All right, leave a like, man, and stick around and stay tuned. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.